Tonight, we present Senri Oe, Jazz Compositions. Here to introduce the performance tonight is Mr. Masato Otaka from the Embassy of Japan. Please welcome him to the stage. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, thank you so much for coming today. And uh, this is one of the uh, seven events we've uh, to put together for the National Cherry Blossom Festival. It's supposed to be the Cherry Blossom Festival season. I'm afraid it doesn't feel that way. And uh, I also realized just now that I'm not wearing my pink tie. But hopefully, hopefully after listening to uh, Senri's music tonight, you'll feel the, the spirit of spring inside of you. Anyway, uh, next week on Monday, we'll be having our last uh, performance. It'll be our Kokoro project. Please look it up in our April uh, uh, Millennium Stage uh, calendar. Uh, it'll be uh, featuring uh, Ms. Asako Tamura, uh, one of the international class Japanese sopranos, and she'll be singing some of the Japanese songs. The, the, I asked all the artists, there'll be three sets of artists, and uh, I've asked them to sing what is at their heart, the Japanese melodies that are at their heart, and uh, you will see what they are next week. But anyway, tonight it's Senri Owe. Senri Owe uh, uh, is a very familiar name in Japan. He's a high household name. He's a big pop star uh, since the mid-1980s. And uh, he's a big composer as well. He's uh, produced, he's composed a lot of hit songs for Japanese uh, pop artists. And uh, somehow, he's decided to change his career path in 2008. He decided to move to Manhattan. And uh, he started uh, going to new school of jazz, jazz music and contemporary music. And uh, he graduated in 2012. And ever since, he's been playing nothing but jazz. Tonight, he will be playing most of his uh, tunes, pieces from his most recent, recent CD, uh, uh, Collective Scribble, and they will be available in the back. So I hope you, you'll be able to have a look at them. Um, and um, before I go, uh, before I forget, I should tell you, I asked uh, Senri why he wanted to start playing jazz, why he wanted to give everything up. Was it because he had, he all, he, he had enough money already? Was, was it because... Uh, uh, he was tired of all the uh, show business in Japan. Uh, I asked him, uh, quite frankly, well, what is it that made you want to come? And the answer was, there was always jazz music inside Senri's heart from his childhood. He's always wanted to do jazz, and he went into pop music, as I said. But at, point, at some point, he wanted to do it. And at the age of 47, he wanted to make sure that he wouldn't regret his decisions. So uh, he made up his mind and came to New York in 2008. And here he is. And his dream, I can tell you, is to have big jazz singers in America to sing his compositions in the future. And I know there's a big project coming up later this year with this, another new CD as well. But tonight, he'll be uh, playing his uh, most recent CD that was uh, released in mid-February. And uh, it's a very peculiar, it's an it's a unorthodox arrangement format. The piano, the bass, and the saxophone, no drum. But he said it has given him the freedom of music. All three artists will be chipping in for the rhythm part, but this has given them more freedom in their music. Let's hear it. So here is Henry Owe and his band. Please. A round of applause.
Thank you for coming to uh, the lady of the stage tonight. Uh, this is Sunny Way from New York, uh, composer, pianist. Thank you for coming, everyone. <laughs> ooh, ooh, thank you. Oh, oh my God. I thought it would be a few people, but wow, oh, <laughs> packed. Yeah, so you make me nervous more. Um, yeah, Mr. Otoka mentioned everything, so <laughs> I don't have to say anything, but, you know, um, I have to uh, uh, introduce my band, my co-workers. Uh, Alun Lusra, saxophone, hands up. <laughs> Listen, I made an album uh, with another saxophone player. So this time he uh, back to uh, France. So um, this time, you know, um, very big chance to uh, show uh, my music like this. And I called, yeah, I tried to um, uh, contact him. Hello. So can I listen to your music? Sure, I send it. So quick response, I will do. <laughs> So maybe uh, tonight something happened, some, you know, chemistry, I hope. Hands up for much time, <laughs> Alun. And uh, he, Jim Robertson, based, uh, we are working for a long time, almost uh, six years, right, Dad? Yeah, we first uh, made a big band, and we came together here in Washington, D.C., yeah as a big band. We did the outside concert for Cherry Blossom. But yeah, yeah, open air. But you know, the audience is just like a seven or eight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not good memory, but you know, <laughs> we came back here like this. So we still make music together. Jim Robinson. First tune, Aki Uta, means a fall song. So I wrote originally this tune for NHK, a Japanese uh, uh, public TV program for children's uh, program. Uh, at this time, five, four, uh, a little three, uh, six, eight, that kind of feeling, mixture, that's my uh, strategy. So we're gonna move to uh, another tune. Autumn Confidential. No, I still got nervous. <laughs> uh, Dr. Dance Cure, E Love and Sandwich. I hope you like it.
Thank you. 
I'm going to uh, describe my new album a little bit. Uh, collect with Scribble. When you um, talk to somebody by phone, and the other hand, uh, grab a pencil or pen and a drawing, something, you know, killing time, I mean. But without, you know, lifting pencil up off the paper. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and after I hang up the phone, oh. This is not bad. What's this? Organic. <laughs> wow, it might be, might be a masterpiece. I would like to uh, make that kind of album. I, after my graduation from new school, my brain is always thinking about bop, beep up. So this is my very core stuff. But I would like to more um, freely I widely would like to open my heart by my own creation. Just like, uh, you know, yeah, organic is a very, very good word to um, describe this time my music. So, um, Dr. Dan's Cure E Love uh, from new album. The next tune is Scribble. Scribble is drawing. So, Okay. Scribble and sketch.
Thanks so much. Um, one more dream for me. Um, I would like to uh, compose for jazz singers in America. 
Um, I am a big fan of singers, just like Sheila Jordan, John Hendrix, and of course, Billy Joe. <laughs> But this time, I compose, imagine that kind of legend, singers. So I knocked the Sheila Jordan's Chelsea's apartment, and uh, we talked. Sheila, would you uh, sing for me? So I turned down my. She, she has a cassette record, record like this. So I bring a cassette tape and get like right that. And okay, you can put the uh, some lyrics. I would like to. I'm happy to sing for you. So after that, I uh, knocked the John Hendrix door. Would you uh, write the lyrics for me? <laughs> and getcha turned on the tape recorder. He also an analog person, so he wrote for me. So he always eating um, cookies, tea. So I uh, standing just beside him. John, what's the next line? They were, do they, they were just, oh yeah, like that. So John Hendrix uh, wrote lyrics for my melody. The next album, Sandy Owe jazz composition, just like today. Uh, but you know, more you know, far away, uh, closer to my next dream. Sheila Jordan sometimes said, "Jazz children, maybe uh, Baker Stevens, Theo Blackman, and New York Voices, that kind of singers put the lyrics and singing with my melody." Kind of small, tiny album, but this is my sort of a dream. Next tune is uh, sung by, put the lyrics and sung by Bick Stevens. Today we're going to bring you by trio. I hope you like it. Answer July.
This tune from my first album, Boys m a t u r e s r o l title is PND. PND is uh, my label, my own label's name. Uh, some sort of abbreviation, you know, peace never die. Because eight years ago, a uh, one year old girl dog with me, we, two of us came to America. So now she is now in DC with me. So uh, I would like to do this tune for her, P and D, Peace Never Die. You know, un- there is no unlimited life, but you know, my hope, peace never die. And uh, thank you for coming and sharing uh, this moment. Uh, did you enjoy that? <laughs> wow. wow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you for uh, a lot of supporting me. Um, encourage us. Thanks so much. Last tune is uh, Peace. This is also Peace. My uh, dog's name, but double meaning. After uh, March 11th, uh, tsunami hit the northern part of Japan. I wrote this tune for the people who are still struggling. You know, living in uh, temporary houses, you know, like that. There are a bunch of people on this planet who need help and uh, peace and love. So the last tune is Peace. So, one more time, I'm going to introduce Alun Lusra. Jim Robertson. Thank you. And thank you, Kennedy Center. And thank you, Otoka-san, everyone, and you. And this is uh, Sandy Oe. Thanks so much.
Alan Luther, Jim Robertson, Cindy Owen. Thanks so much, everyone. See you soon.